Hey guys, welcome back to another Source SDK 101 video tutorial. Um, today we are going to be taking a look at some quick tips and tricks and um, keyboard shortcuts to use in Hammer. Um, this is incredibly, incredibly useful stuff. Uh, will help you navigate around and um, just get you know a better workflow and get creating things faster. So start off here. I'm just going to talk about this view thing here. Um, you may have noticed uh, before that you can move this around. Um, sometimes you move it and you want to get it back center. You might not know what to do to get it back center. So what you're going to do is you're going to press Control and then A, and it will recenter. Um, this is something I use a lot in conjunction with the next thing, which is if you press click in a window and then Shift V or Shift Z, sorry, um, it will full screen that window. And this is very useful for moving around. And if you press Z in conjunction with that, um, you can free look around. And this works with um, this textured window. Um, and then again, Control A to get back to your four regular screens here. So um, this is incredibly useful. These just these two commands um, for you know taking a look around your map and then recentering everything so you get your views again. It works in other ones if you shift V over here or shift Z over here. Um, you get to look over there as well. So talking about these commands here, you may have noticed if you highlight, um, they give you the keyboard shortcut. So just quickly, Control B, uh, the main ones you use, or sorry, Shift B will be a block tool. Um, uh, shift S is back to selecting and uh, Shift V will be your vertex editor. I use these the most. Um, so those most simple uh, for those. But again, if you ever forget, just highlight over it. It'll pop up and tell you. Um, so the next thing I use all the time and is incredibly important is if you hold down Shift and drag something in one of these uh, three screens here, it will copy that object instead of control C, control V, something like that. If you just shift, hold down shift and drag, it'll copy that object nice and easy for you. Um, this is an incredibly useful and important tool. Use it all the time. You need to know that command. Um, so as well as that, you may have noticed uh, that you're doing a lot of things just in these three main screens here. Uh, however, I find it often quite useful to use to uh, in this textured view to work in there as well. Um, as many other, uh, you know, map making 3D modeling programs do. So you may think that there's not really a way to do anything, but what you'll do is you'll select an object here and you have to do this every time you boot up hammer and you're just going to press X and this, uh, opens up the transformation tools here. Um, and it lets you drag stuff around in this screen and resize all that sort of stuff. Um, along with that, with these transformation type things, uh, you, again, you click, you get your rotations here, and you click again, and you get the vertex type editor. Um, with that, if you press Control and M while an object is selected, you get this transformation menu, which allows you to move, scale, and rotate um, by values. Z value will be you know, flat, um, and then your X and Ys. So if I just want to rotate this 45 degrees, um, or let's just do 30 uh, I'll get that rotation right there. And remember, that's Control M. So you may have noticed when I was rotating that things are snapping um, instead of freely rotating. So to get that, uh, it's off by default, if I recall. So you're going to go to Tools, Options, go to 2D Views, and then tick Default to 15 degree rotations. Um, I use this all the time, it's incredibly important. Um, Rotations work so much better when they're on this 15 degree uh, snap. But if you ever wanted to rotate something and didn't want that exactly, just simply hold down shift and rotate it and the snap is off and you're, freely to, you're free to rotate at any speed you want or any degree. Um, so again with this, uh, something quite possibly already known uh, by you and also incredibly important to change the grid sizes, you're going to want to touch the bracket keys. Um, the bracket key to the left uh, decreases grid size and increases on the right. Um, this is obviously incredibly important, and you you know every mapper should know this. If you don't, you're going to have a really difficult time creating anything. Um, so with that grid uh, features in mind, if you hold, go ahead and hold down Alt, and then um, 
drag around transformation, um, you'll notice that the grid is off. So holding down Alt will remove the grid, uh, the snap for the grid, and you'll be free to, you know, transform the block or brush into any size that you want. Um, and the same goes with uh, moving it around. If you hold down Alt, you get off grid. Now you may have something off grid that you possibly, you know, you want it to be on grid. So if you have an object off a uh, brush or uh, model, anything off grid, what you can do is go ahead and press control B and that will snap it back onto the grid for you there. Um, and then the very last thing I want to talk about in relation to the grid is sometimes, especially when you're moving around here and moving around these keyboard shortcuts, you may accidentally notice that, Hey, uh, I'm not holding down Alt, and it's, you know, it's not on the grid. So the grid was disabled somehow. So to get that back, what you're going to go ahead and do is going to press Shift W, and that'll toggle the grid for you. So you may have accidentally pressed Shift W if you notice your grid's off. Um, just remember that is what you need to press again to toggle it on and off. Um, and that's basically all I got to talk about right now. Those are just some quick tips uh, for you. Um, you know, very important things to have, uh, to know, to use, learn how to use these. Um, you know, explore and learn how to find more. Uh, there's tons of different keyboard shortcuts, and every single one will help improve uh, your mapping ability. Um, you know, tenfold. It's it's surprise. It's incredible how easy it gets once you actually know all the shortcuts. Um, you'll find yourself actually understanding how to use the program, and you'll find that you're working much faster. Um, so that's all the time I got for today. Thank you for watching. Uh, don't forget to subscribe.